Dooley Noted, 10-17-2014. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. You're not seeing me right now because I wanted to give the show to the nasal sinuses. It is now officially fall. We're going into the winter where people have tremendous sinus trouble during the transition and then into the cold winter months. And I wanted to show you what these sinuses look like so you can understand how to properly drain them. Uh, you can see the frontal sinus here. The frontal sinus is right above your eye on each side. You have these canals here that you see this intricate network and they're on the other side of this nasal septum that you see here. You might know your nasal septum as the separator between your two nostrils. If we open this up, you can see the lateral wall of the sinuses and you see the superior, middle, and inferior nasal conchae. These are little bones inside of the lateral wall of your nasal cavity that actually make the air turbulent. They actually warm the air, moisten the air, and filter the air. Uh, when you open this middle meatus up, you can see that there are several holes along with an area for olfaction. These are axons that you see that are going to be innervating this area, sending information back up to something called the olfactory bulb. This is for smell. You can also see why smell is often occluded by uh, sinus congestion. So if we put that back. Uh, these openings can sometimes become clogged, especially if there's increase in mucosal production. Uh, as you see here, if we remove this middle concha, the middle conch shell, or the middle turbinate, there's a vast amount of openings, a lot of opportunity for things to get stuck and to go awry. Uh, the maxillary sinus, which is on the side of your cheek, actually drains towards the middle. So it drains towards the medial aspect of the nose. So it's easier for you to drain this if you lay on the side opposite of the clog. Uh, if you're draining the frontal sinus, gravity will usually help you. As you can see through this canal, it drains into this way, into this middle meatus. And it will help to, uh, gravity can help, actually really, really help you to drain this area. Uh, so activity, just staying upright, can really help you to drain. The sphenoid sinus is very difficult to drain. If I turn this sideways, you can see that it drains anteriorly. So very difficult. You may have to stick your head between your legs to get that one to drain. So a lot of people will tell me that um, if they put their head inverted, it helps them to drain that sinus. That's how you know you have a sphenoid sinusitis. This is the most central bone of the skull, um, very important uh, for draining it anteriorly, which of course is in opposition of gravity, so it is a challenge to drain that one. Uh, the nasal lacrimal duct, you can see this right here. If I were to pass a, a, a actual probe through there, it actually comes out through here. And this is why when you cry, it actually comes out your nose, because crying or lacrimation of the eye actually protects the nasal cavity as well and helps to keep it moist. You have a cueing system between your eye and nose to make sure everything stays moist. So if you're wanting to keep these areas clear, you can use certain products like a neti pot to help to wash. You can also use a spray called X-Clear. It's a xylitol spray, it's all natural. What it does is it coats this area and keeps allergens and dust from collecting onto it. It makes this area very slippery. You can also use nasal inhalants like the Olbus inhaler. The Olbus inhaler is really, really good for opening up the nasal passages, helping you to breathe through the nose. Uh, there's a great argument that if you aren't breathing through your nose, then you can breathe through your nose. And if you can't breathe through your nose, then you should be breathing through your nose. And so I use things like peppermint oil to help me breathe through my nose and the Olbus oil, which I think is very fantastic. It's um, mentholated as well as has peppermint. And if you sleep or if you train, I highly suggest a nasal strip. Nasal strips are really helpful to open up the nose to help keep the airway patent. Uh, a lot of research is in defiance that these things actually work, but I gotta tell you, my training has really gone up and my oxygenation seems to improve with these guys. Um, you can try it out for yourself and see if it helps. So this has been a tutorial on the nasal cavity. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you'll utilize some products to help you uh, keep this airway open and patent and free of excess mucus. Dr. Kathy Dooley, I'll see you next time.